Hello, everyone. This is Pino Trogo from San Francisco State. This is the information design class, and this is project two. Uh, in a series of videos earlier, we uh, looked at different uh, charts using different data sets. I'm going to um, do the same thing now, but in a quicker uh, fashion using uh, the data sets from the New York Times and showing how we can actually use filtering to, um, to create the uh, first graphs that we did for the uh, cases and deaths in um, the US, California, and San Francisco. Um, these were the daily, um, daily counts. So if you recall, there is a, a GitHub repository for the um, New York Times uh, data sets that they've made available. And uh, just going to zoom in a little bit here. So these are the ones we're going to look at: the U.S. comma separated value, U.S. states (CSV) and U.S. county (CSV). And um, and these are current, right? So I'm still going to be showing up to February 22nd, but you probably want to download the most recent ones. And uh, so I did this all in Tableau. Um, let's see if I can find it now. Okay. And for the first one, um, there was no need to filter because the, the, the US file, the US CSV file was um, basically already set up um, with the count. Uh, for, the, for every day, right? Meaning it's only one US, there's not many states. And so there we just simply, um, I'm not gonna repeat now, but we did it by, um, so just refer to video number one uh, and, uh, and see how we did that. But basically we overlapped the cases, in this case, not the deaths, the cases, and we made uh, one a bar chart and one again, a, a line chart with a, a daily average, uh, sorry, a weekly, a seven day changing um, average, okay? I'm gonna do now the same thing with um, California and San Francisco. So again, I'm not gonna redo this, but um, so this is exactly what I did um, in the other single files. Uh, single videos for um, in this in this case for San Francisco, sorry for California, and uh, but in that one, if you recall, I had created a data set by cutting and pasting uh, from various places. Okay, um, so let me just show you how this can be done instead by using the um, U.S. states, which includes all the states, not just California, and just how to filter that. So I'm just gonna do a new sheet. Bring it over here, well, over here, next to the one that I want to replicate, okay? So this is gonna be two, and the numbers refer to all the other videos and also all the other elements in the, in the layout, right? So this is two California cases, and we're talking about um, coronavirus um, cases. So this is two California cases. I'm just gonna call it two. So if you recall, we did we simply did we um, so again U.S. states, and the first thing we want to do here is to um, yeah the, the let's say the most important thing, which is do the filter right away. So we're gonna take state. Let's look at the a data source. So yeah, if you look at the data source, it's gonna have all the states, all the days. Well, that's a lot, 50 times 350 or something like that rows for, um, for every day. Um, so instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna filter that and we're gonna take just California. So we can bring the, um, in the data, oops, here. We can bring the state in the tables and bring it to filters here. And there it's very simple. We just select, you could select none or all or none. And now we can just select California. And 
when we do that, oh. yeah, the data source still shows that, but here now, and we can double check if that's gonna work. So now we just repeat the steps that we did exactly in the other video. Um, I'm gonna do it fast. So we double clicked on oh. cases. Then we can double clicked on date. We got a line and here under year, which is the date, we changed it to day, which gives it every single day. And then here under marks, we changed it to bars and we changed the color to orange. And we took out no border for the columns. We also made the um, size uh, fixed and I don't know, 0.25. I'm not sure what that is, but it gives us a nice bar for everything. And now under um, cases, we did a calculation. We did um, add a table calculation. Default is actually exactly what we want, which is there is a subtraction from the previous. So it's the difference from the previous item. So it's subtracting the total count from the previous total count from the day before. And now, we, um, now we're gonna overlap the line. So we take again the cases and we bring it over until it makes a, a dotted line, a dashed line. Uh, so now it's bars again, and we wanna change that to line. Now, as soon as we do that, um, it's gonna change everything, I think, back to line. No, actually, it's still like that. Okay, so now we're going to take that same thing. We're gonna do this. Now we're gonna do two calculations. The average, sorry, the, the subtraction, also the average, except we have to do the average first for some reason. Uh, so add table calculation. We're gonna do instead of difference, we're gonna do a moving calculation. And instead of sum here, we're gonna do uh, average and we're gonna select seven days before and seven days after. And then here we say add secondary calculation. Um, and it does it again automatically. You can see it's already made the right the right line. Um, so if you notice, it turned the previous chart though into a line again. So let's change that back by clicking on it and change it back to bar. Okay, now it's what we want, except the line doesn't look like an average because it looks on top. And that's because the axis, the two axes here need to be synchronized. So we say synchronize axis and that's it. And then we can even remove the axis here. I mean, the labels for the axis by saying show either or not show it. And if you recall, we made the line maybe a little thicker on their size so that it stands out. And now to check the tooltip the here, it doesn't show actually San Francisco, but because I wanna make sure I'm sorry, California. So we wanna make sure it's really California. So what we could do is actually drag the state to the label here. Yeah, that's for the line. If you select the bars, uh, again, drag the state to the label and you can see it's all California. That's all good. And now it's actually showing in the over. So good, I'm gonna go back now. I don't need all those labels. Um, so that's it. So this is the same exactly as the separate number one video, except we did the filtering. So we didn't have to do, um, you know, separate just California from that uh, big, fairly big uh, data set, which is US states. And again, remember you can download this every day. It's a new file updated. So that's it. And now we're gonna do, uh, let's see, this was San Francisco cases. So I will do a new one. Here. 
So these will be three San Francisco cases, I'll call it two. And now we do, so San Francisco is a county, right? San Francisco uh, County. So that we have to get from the counties, US counties file. And once again, that's the one you get from this repository from New York Times. It's the one down below here. And if you recall, um, let's see, data source counties, yes, okay. Yeah, as long as this is selected, that's good. Um, so this is a huge data set. It's actually more than a million, a million rows. So even Excel doesn't handle it, but this handles it pretty well. You can open it in Tableau. Um, and what I had done, if you recall, I had done cut and paste from another file, which I'd gotten from another place. So here, instead, we're just going to, um, to do it again by, um, yeah, there's so many rows, it doesn't even show them now here. So we'll, um, okay, this is the counties file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take county and do a quick filter, okay? And there's about 3000 counties, right? So that would be a lot. Um, so here, Sorry, once again, I take county and I bring it to filter from the tables and it disappeared, why is that? Select from list, okay, let's say none. You can also search, so San Francisco right there and then just click on that and then say, okay. And now it's already filtered by just San Francisco essentially. So now we do the same thing we did before. If we if we click on cases and then we click on date, then we change the date to day, then we change this to bar. I'm gonna change leave the colors now. This oh no, actually let's change it so that we don't get confused. <laughs> um, border none size. No, fixed, yeah, this size works. Um, then we're gonna do the calculation, which again does subtraction, so you get the right one. And then we take the cases again, bring them over here. And now it's the same color, so I'm gonna change the color right away so that I can do that by saying edit color, this would be the second one. Um, make that blue. Oh, actually no, this is, it's this one I think. Wait a second. Let's do the calculation first, otherwise we're gonna get confused. Let's change this to line. And we do a calculation. So we'll do the average first, the moving average. Again, seven days before and after. And then a secondary calculation, and that's it. That's good. Now we just have to make it thicker changing the size and here we um, synchronize the axis again that's good so that looks pretty good that looks like yeah like the one i made before again we can hide that and we can um, again it doesn't show san francisco so if you want to make sure let's say we drag the county to the label that one, uh, but we drag it also here. And now it's all showing up there as well. So just in case, in case you picked Alabama or Arkansas um, or something. So good, this is also done. And um, 
the next one was the uh, that's and this is it's really just the same okay so i'm actually not going to uh, redo now the process is exactly the same that i did for cases and the first step though again was was taking the county and bringing it over here to filters and then the um and then taking in this case the deaths instead of the cases okay so here you can also change the filtering if you say edit filter okay you could use a different you know, so if I search here now, San Francisco, you could say it's selected and I could unselect, but I'm not going to change that now. And I'm not going to redo this. Okay. So this is identical to number three. It's just that I used deaths instead of cases. Um, all right. So the US map, I'm just going to show you this, but uh, in the simple, in the separate cases that I showed, uh, for the maps, I had cases or deaths per 100,000, so per capita, which is a better measure rather than total numbers. But I want to show you this because, uh, again, this is all the days, right? Um, and there is a way to filter that to the last day if you want to get the last number, okay? So let me just show you how I did that. But the map itself is a little funny. Um, because for the per capita per 100,000, you need to do another calculation. Either you have that table like I did with the New York Times when I uh, cut and paste from the New York Times page from those tables, or you have to get the population table for all the states and then, um, and then do another calculation and basically figure out how many per 100,000, right? So whatever number you have, um, you have to do yeah, just a calculation to figure it out. It, it's, a, it's a formula. Um, but let's assume that we, had, that we had this here and we were doing cases per, per 100,000. Um, how do you filter out just that one last day? Because we, we don't want to show all the days here. So, just quickly do another sheet. I call this five US cases two. Um, so the first thing we would do here, um, let's see, this would be, uh, let's see, the date, right? So we need to, we need to filter the date. Um, In any case, if you took state and you just dragged it, you can see that immediately it creates a map, right? So that's good because the state is already a geographical role and it's already said that state, it doesn't, it recognizes it. Um, so let's take the date and filter that. Nothing's happening. Okay. So once you bring it to filter, um, you can do a range of dates. So I say next, and then there's a slider here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move the slider so that I simply go from the 22nd of February, 21 to the 22nd. So just the last day, it will just uh, filter to that one last row. Um, and this was states, right? Okay. Because if you look again at the source, again, you got Alabama, you got every single state, right? And so what we want really, um, and sorry, every single day. So what we want is to filter it out so that we just grab the last day. It would be this one right here, right? Um, and that's what, we, that's what the program is doing now. So, so now if we drag the uh, state, if we click state, double click state, it creates the map. And instead of automatic, we can tell it to be a shade uh, map. Now they're all the same. So we need to bring, I think that what I did, cases. Yes, so I'm gonna bring cases to color and I get the map. Let's see how different is it. Yeah, so what I did in order to get this was I changed the uh, key. 
here uh, to look a little more legible. So what I did was I did from a hundred to a million instead of 140 to 3 million. Um, so first of all, always do step colors. I forget how many I did. And then advanced, just say start at 100 and end at a million. Say so, okay. And I got, yeah, more or less what, what I have in the other map. Um, I'm gonna add the labels here from state, drag to labels. And maybe the cases. So we have those two things. Um, and the one thing I always do is actually change the color of the map to say border white. Even just that little, and also maybe 100% opacity because then we cover up the base map. Uh, we're gonna have to edit this in Illustrator for the title, for the names that you don't see, but otherwise this is pretty good. You can see the white lines really works much works much better. Um, okay, so this is oh let me show you this. This is actually neat because um, you can do the entire United States and all the counties, and these are actually this is actually visualizing all of them. Um, and again, the only thing that's weird is that it's not per capita, so it shows the total. So of course, big populous counties like. Los Angeles, New York are going to be darker. Um, but let's duplicate this. I'm sorry, let's do a new one. This is, I'm going to call it, and this is, you know, optional, right? US counties map two. So what we'll do is again, we'll just um, filter just the day, just the last day. So in my case, the 22nd. Uh, so we take the day and we bring it to filter. And then we say range of dates next. And we just move the slider to that one last day from the 22nd to the 22nd. Okay. And now if we double click county, which again is being recognized because of the name, we get all the counties. Um, and instead of saying, now, I'll do it two ways. Let's see, I'll do first the map and they're all the same. But if we bring now the cases to color, it gives us the map with different colors. And remember, it goes from zero to one million, okay. Um, yeah. I don't know which county that would be. Could be New York, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So what I did was I made the the ranges much narrower. Here from zero to a hundred, I mean to three hundred. Forget how many steps. No, that was too much from zero to a hundred. Oh, this is that, sorry. Okay, I'm actually duplicating. I'm, I'm actually doing, uh, yeah, that wouldn't work, so. <laughs> Well, let's try. Maybe we'll do 300,000 instead. No, maybe we'll do 3,000 instead. Yeah, so this is cases, sorry. The one I showed before, it's actually that. So um, yeah, this is better. Maybe even a little less. So I'm doing a slightly different map now than what I just tried to replicate. Sorry, more. So let's say 5,000. Okay, it's a little bit of trial and error here. Now you notice that the, even though the key goes only to 5,000 in terms of the colors, when you go over it, 
it just you know it does shows the right it does show the right number um again this is not ideal because it's total so obviously big counties with lots of people have more um, again what i would do is make the color the border white and even just like that super super nice already much much better um, and i'm not going to attempt to put names on that now because it would be very crowded okay so i just replicated the one that was actually for deaths um, i just made now the one for uh, cases all right so um yeah this is the same thing for the state of california and again here instead of the counties file we use the um, state files and we just filter out the uh, all the other states so this would be let's see us uh, da, 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 counties okay california counties um, color two so this would be states now we filter out again sorry it's still counties yes it's still counties we have to um it's still counties but we're going to filter out by states so we only get the counties for california so we we drag state to the filter. Oh, come on. Right there. Nothing happened. Try it again. Okay. And we just select California. That's it. And now it's just going to uh, visualize California counties and not none, none, none of the others. So if I click on county. That's good. Doesn't give me just the entire entire United States. And now I do shape. Oops. Rather map. And then I take um, yeah. Let's just take cases to color, and we can adjust this a little bit. Um, but you know, again, it's not. It's a funny measure because. because we should do per capita. Oh, um, we do need to also filter the days. So we'll do that in a moment. So let's see, yeah, because these look like a lot, these are 100 million. So actually let's cancel that for a moment. Yeah, you can see here I have the uh, state filter and also the date filter. So let's drag that filter also there. And again, we do range of dates and we just take the last day in my set. Now the numbers are much better. Um, let's see, what did I do here? From 10 to 1,000. Colors, okay, we'll do the same. Start. One thousand. That didn't work because again, because this is that <laughs> the same thing. Okay, um, so let's change that. If I the way to find out what it is. Okay, it's here. It's one million. So so maybe what did I say? One thousand. So maybe ten thousand. Better. Um, maybe a hundred thousand. All right, we'll leave it like that. Um, okay, so in this case, we have room for the county, so we can bring the county labels over. Uh, maybe make it a little bit smaller here in the type. And again, the color, just make it the border white and the opacity I would say 100% because that way we hide the ugly map underneath and we can also add the uh, cases to the labels here 
Okay, obviously the dark parts would need to be uh, done in, um, you know, brought up in, in Illustrator. Um, okay, what else do we do? Um, the scatter plot, um, the scatter plot I show is per 100,000, I think, in the separate video. Here, again, it's not. Um, but, um, but what I did, again, I, it's basically the same data as this map, except that I'm making a scatter plot, right? And I also filtered by state and by date, taking it from the counties, which again, remember it's that huge file. It doesn't have the per capita, so that's, uh, or the, pop the total population. So let's quickly do this also, just because we've now done almost all of them. So this would be seven California, and this other two. And let's quickly do the, uh, let's see, the state filter. We want California and the date filter. We want just the last day. And then um, now we're going to do cases and deaths. So cases on the horizontal and deaths on the vertical. So we just simply click on cases and then we click on deaths. And then we get a scatter plot, except it's only one. If we drag the name of the county to labels, that immediately gives us a scatter plot. Now, because Los Angeles is so much more than everybody else, and that's why, again, we would need to do per capita to show a better relationship. Um, everything is bunched up at the bottom here, right? Um, so let me just quickly show you, there is a way to make this more spread out, which is doing a logarithmic scale. So here, instead of, you can say edit axis, and instead of saying, um, yeah, a regular scale, we say logarithmic. Like that. And so that just means that every tick mark is, well, actually it's not, Let's see, 5,000, yeah. Right, every tick mark is actually um, 10 times bigger. Let's see, 10 times to 100,000. Yeah, that's what it is. So from here to here is 100,000, from to there it's 10,000, to here it's 1,000. Um, and then at this point, we should do it also at the bottom. So edit axis, logarithmic, and this gives a better, a better picture, right? Again, because it's total numbers, you know, it's very straight. Although if you recall in the separate video for, for the scatter plot, if you watched it already, you will see that even with the per capita numbers, the spread is very uniform because, you know, obviously there's a relationship between cases and deaths. Uh, okay, so we'll leave this alone, maybe change to circle. Um, and change the capacity maybe so that they overlap a little bit. Okay, that's it. And then the last one I'm going to show you, I've been trying to sort of figure out this heat map thing with the, um, with um, Tableau and it's still an experiment, but since I got some going, um, let's see if I can, if I can replicate it. So, um, I filtered out by the date because 370 days is a lot. Um, and then in this one, yeah, even further. Um, so I'm gonna do a new one. So this would be eight heat map. And actually, um, yeah, it's called differently in uh, three. So let me see, I'm not, I can't guarantee that this will work <laughs> again. I can't remember all the steps, but um, uh, we're going to do, let's see, is it California? Uh, San Francisco, yeah, daily, I think it's that's actually, yeah. 
did the deaths. So San Francisco daily deaths, which fortunately have not been as bad as other places. Um, so, right, yeah, let's filter out the dates because otherwise we get this gigantic. Uh, so the date, we're gonna say range of dates and we're gonna say perhaps the last, I don't know. Uh, again, this ends on the 22nd, so maybe from the 10th to the 22nd, about that 12 days or maybe 14 days from the 8th to the 22nd, 14 days, so two weeks. Um, now let's see what happens. Let's just take San Francisco. Oh, by the way, this file I had created myself um, because, let's see. Yeah, because I had created, um, I I done a hard calculation to get the exact count for every day. So yeah, in this case, I wasn't trying to do the, the calculation sort of in the program here. And this is the one that is already, um, this is the file that you already have in the folder number eight. So you can use this if you want. And okay, so if we double click on San Francisco daily deaths, we get a bar. And here under show me, there's like, there's not many, too many options. So let's do, um, yeah, the date, right? Yeah, we do need the date somewhere. So let's do a little click on that. Um, now there's already different options and this is actually pretty good. Um, let me show you what I did because it's interesting. If you did a stack bar, Check it out, let's see. Um, some I got rid of the date, let me go back. Okay, first I do a bar. Then if I do a stack bar, now that doesn't work. Oops. Um, I have to look into what I did here. I took the sum. I might have to cut this piece off um, in the video, but um, let's try something else. Maybe this is gonna be faster. So here under show me, you have a thing called highlight tables. And now it just says just the year. Oh, I know what's going on. Actually, let's go back for a moment the year should be a day here instead of the date. So let's go to make it days. Now let's make it stack bar. It's changing to a bunch of things. Um, um Okay, so eventually I'm getting there. Don't ask me exactly how I got there, but um, now it's working. So the, the important thing was that I had this option, which is, I think is just Tableau's name for, for heat map, although there's all, all kinds of other heat map types. But in this particular case, that's the one I want. Um, and um, yeah, and that's it. So now each one of these colors is uh, reflective if you, let's see. Yeah, there's a way to, um, so in this particular range in the last two weeks until the 22nd, the maximum that's was um, 11. So, so to, to 12. Okay, and that's it. And now I'll just show you real quick what I did in, uh, Illustrator to make this, you know, better. So I just basically stretched it. I output it and I stretched it. I had that open, but yeah, I did. Okay, so that's all I did. This was this was different colors. I just 
brought it into Illustrator and scaled it this way. Um, and I have the labels there somewhere for the days, but, um, and you can change the format of the date so that instead of showing the full thing, you could just say, let's see, simplify it. I was hoping it would put it vertical, but it's not. Okay. All right. I'm going to end this and um, I hope this helps you. Um, with the, uh, well, you know, saving some time instead of put to, putting together all the data sets. Of course, cutting and paste is a good practice because as you saw here, even here, I couldn't get the per capita, right? I would have had to do something else. Um, so it's important that you do some cut and paste because it allows you to see what's in the, in the, in the sets, right? In the, in the tables. All right. Okay, I'll see you next time.